these are the magic lashes the magnetic na magic lashes someone asked me earlier today about magic lashes and they're not all created equal and we'll talk about that on another uh, another live we'll, we'll talk about you know what's a good magnetic lash and what's a bad a poor one uh, we'll talk about that later uh, but anyway I have my lashes on like I said uh, we have some some beautiful ladies joining us there is a few people on we're gonna get started soon like I said we're gonna make this eye make this eye look like this eye okay and it's not gonna be hard it's not go I know you guys probably say well you say that all the time and it's 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 hard but it's not hard guys we're gonna we're gonna do this and we're going to um, start and this is what I'm wearing on this eye right here that is the main color okay it's one of my pigments I love these pigments we're also gonna use the same pigment as a lipstick so you can, it's very versatile and it does not stain, it's made of minerals, so it does not stain your eyes or your skin or your lips. So we're going to get started with the pigment. Uh, let's see, I forgot the name of that one. Oh, why do I do that? I forget the name. There's so many colors and there's so many um, uh, different names in, in, the, in the line. I just, sometimes I forget the name. But this is the cranberry red one. It's called cranberry mist, I think that's the name of it but anyway we're gonna get started and I'm gonna show you guys a few tricks a few tips and tricks uh, my thing is saying low battery but that's impossible I'm not sure but I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, so we're gonna dampen the brush okay I'm gonna dampen the brush don't over wet it just dampen it and then I'm gonna take some of the loose pigment. Just tap inside there, inside the container. And then I'm gonna tap it inside of the, of the lid where I can just take the X, remove the excess. And then now I'm gonna look at my mirror over here and you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm basically applying this cranberry color to my lower lid. I'm doing very little blending, <clears throat> excuse me, with the pigment. Very, very, very little blending. Looks different. That's what it looks like when I first put it on. Looks a little different because I have some other colors blended already. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in to my jet liner. That's called jet liner. It's a black with a pink glitter, like a pink slow uh, shimmer flicks in it. Not really glitter, but like little shimmer flicks. I'm going to dampen my brush again, and I'm not over wetting it. It's a different brush. This is a blending brush. I'm going to dip just very little on the end. Take off the excess. Tap on a uh, napkin, take off the excess. This is gonna go right in this corner here, okay? Right in the crease there, right there. Can you see that? Right there, back and forth, right there. I'm not even lifting the, lifting the brush. Now this color here, you're gonna have to blend. The first one you didn't have to blend. That's the pigment. This is a regular eyeshadow, but you're gonna have to blend that one. And it's a dark shade, so you're definitely gonna have to blend it. Okay, I'm putting it right in the outer crease. And then I'm gonna bring a little bit right inside here, inside the inner corner, inner crease. Okay, all the way in side there. Share this video, guys, uh, if you'd like. I would love you to share it, where you can, we'll just uh, help some more beautiful ladies. 
with their makeup. And if I tagged you and you already know what you're doing with your makeup, I thank you for watching regardless. I appreciate it. Alrighty, so I'm just going back and forth, simple and easy, okay? And I'm going to bring a little bit more up on the inner upper crease. I'm going to bring a little bit more up there, right here, okay? Back and forth. As you see, I did not go over this, the red, the cranberry here. I did not go over that part with, with the black. Do not go over that part because you really want to see the difference between the two colors and have them complement each other, okay? So you don't want to go over that part. Crease all the way in, back and forth, all right? So now we're going to put a little bit of, um, a little bit of uh, highlighter underneath the brow. And what I'm using today as a highlighter underneath my brow is the is the um, lip and eye primer okay this is the lip I didn't use primer at all underneath these because the underneath the pigments you don't need a primer it stays on all day you don't need a primer for this you don't need a primer for it to pop because this particular pigment loose pigment made of minerals it pops automatically without any any uh, support underneath it so now we're gonna put a little bit of this primer a different brush guys okay just a flat shader but small I'm gonna dab a little bit on my hand because I don't want to take off the, I want to take the excess off now we're gonna go right underneath because you don't want to put too much because I've seen some youtubers use like you know the concealer and they put it underneath their brow and it, they make it look so extremely difficult and they also make it look like um, you would want to it's not very uh, woman friendly or beauty friendly if you ask me until they spend the next 30 minutes blending down what they have put on and we women today, we don't have time for that. We want to be beautiful. And we want to do it in a hurry. Why not? You know, we don't want everything in a hurry. But beauty, we want to do that in a hurry. Let's see. Where is my other brush? Now, now I'm not going to leave that like that. Most people leave it like that. I mean... You can if you want, but I don't recommend it uh, as, you know, according to, um, in my professional opinion, I don't recommend that because we're going to blend. We're going to blend that down a little bit. I'm going to take some of my powder, face powder, and I'm going to put over, I'm using the same brush I used to put the, put the red, the cranberry red on, the large shader. I'm going to put over, over. the the uh, eye eye and lip primer which I put underneath my brow earlier okay so let's see here I'm gonna go back and just make sure they're even you want to make sure everything's even because I want it to be a little bit sharper, a little bit more defined. So I'm going to put a little bit more underneath the brow. And I'm not doing a lot of work on this, guys. I'm not doing a lot of work. This is very, I mean, it's, I mean, once you put it, put your colors where they're supposed to be, the placement, and blend a little bit here, a little bit there, you have your eyeshadows on. They're beautifully done without putting globs of this and globs of that and globs of this and looking um, like a drag queen when I first began. But in the end, I look like, you know, I'm looking like a lady, but you don't have to do all that. You don't have to put on so much 
in order to uh, make it look beautiful. Just know what you're doing with the little bit that you have and you'll be fine. So I am going to, let's see here. I'm gonna put the same uh, lip and eye primer underneath my eye. I just want to freshen up like I did this one over here earlier. So we're gonna just freshen up with a little bit of the lip and eye primer. And also if there's any excess that fell down, this is going to remove it. So I'm gonna tap this on just like this. You can put this on with a brush, but since this lip and eye primer, this primer here highlights beautifully, cleans up beautifully, and it dries down into a powder, you really don't have to put it on with a brush if you don't want it to. See how that looks? You can leave it like that. Let's say if you're going out in the evening and you're going to a party or something like that and you want to just highlight underneath the eye, you can do that. Just leave it like that and just put a little bit of powder over it. I'm gonna put a little bit on this side. I put some earlier, but it's already dried down. So I'm just gonna do a little bit over here where you can get the, the balance effect. We want to balance out everything, okay? See how that looks? I hope you can see that. Okay. And that's it for um, that's it for my for cleaning up underneath my eye, my highlighter underneath my eye. Now we're gonna take a little bit of um, we're gonna take a little bit of powder, face powder. And I am going to take a little bit of my face powder and tap it because a lot of times I don't like mine as light underneath my eye like that because then it's just too much unless I'm on the red carpet somewhere and I need that light to hit me right underneath right in my face right here then I would leave that highlighter like that if I'm gonna have a lot of bright lights hitting me but other than that just for you know your evening wear you don't have to uh, do that I'm just dabbing all over with my powder now we made that eye look like this eye really quick there was minimal blending minimal you get your placement together. You get your placement together, a little bit of blending. And that's all you really need is, the, you know, just to freshen up and to, to, and to look beautiful. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you don't, we don't look beautiful without makeup. But it's just like a house that needs some paint on it. And the house is like, 20 years old, 25 years old, 30 years old, the paint is chipping. Um, the hinges on the door is kind of loose. Uh, you know, you know, things like that. So you got to maintenance, you got to go ahead and put, you know, maintain it. So that's all, you know, that's all women. This is all a part of maintenance and, and maintaining and just, um, just looking your best. That's all. Just looking your best. And going up, going about it the right way in the correct way. Uh, so now we're going to put on a little bit of. I'm going to put on a little bit of uh, blush. Now my blush is always like a bronzer. Well, not always, but today it is. It's my favorite blush. And sometimes I'll wear like a soft pink, but today since my eyes are so delicious, I am just going to wear this bronze oh I got a little something on my hair and I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my t-zone that's just my bronzer and you can still see my highlighter and you can put a lot of this on you see I'm just going crazy with it because it's a bronzer and I love it I love it I love it I love it but you can still see my highlighter. You can still see my highlighter. Uh, I have like little things popping up on my, um, not you guys, but there's other little things popping up there. I have to get rid of it. So now we are going to move on to 
lips. And we're gonna use the same pigment that I used up here on my lips to create a lipstick. Quick, easy. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot something. That eye is not completely like that one. You know what I forgot? I forgot to take my pigment, the same one I used earlier, and put a little bit, see that right there? See, I put a little bit of highlighter in there earlier. I'm gonna take a little bit here and put underneath like that one to do my look. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so that I just want to make sure they are even. All right, perfect. Go back under with my brush because any just in case ex, any excess have fallen, I can just take care of that right now. All right, now they're even. I can't believe I forgot about that inner corner. For the highlighter right underneath there I just dab dab with my pencil brush that's a pencil brush looks like a pencil just gets right in that corner right there fits right in there and you can just highlight right in there you can do that with um, this cranberry I'm using you can do that with the with the white most people do it with white but I do it with whatever color I want and um, it just looks beautiful uh, and I don't you know I don't like to uh, do white all the time so I'll just use that. Uh, oh, okay. So we're going to start on our lips. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. So let's see here. Hold on. I am going to take this eyeshadow brush and use it as a lip brush. I'm going to dip it in this water. I'm going to dip it in some water. Tap the excess onto the napkin I'll put I'm gonna put the um, I'm gonna put the lip liner last this is the lipstick it's really eyeshadow loose pigment that I'm gonna use as lipstick I started in the middle first and I'm just brushing it outward it's a very, very beautiful color. I mean, you can wear this look with any color you put on. Any color you put on. And remember guys, if you're in South Florida, let's say if you wanted to bless your wife or your significant other or your, um, your, 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 your daughter or your whomever that needs makeup tips and tricks and you don't really know how to tell them that oh well i really think you should I, I really would like for you to wear makeup but i know that you don't know what you're doing of course you're not going to tell them that but i mean i don't know how you can refer them to me but you might want to pray about that especially if you're a man and you you know you would like your wife to kind of spruce it up a little bit and she's never worn makeup I mean, give her my webs. Well, no. She, if she's sensitive, you're going to have a problem anyway. But if she's not and she's open to, you know, new things and, um, you know, want to be better inside and outside, then give her, send her to my uh, DM, give her my information. And we sell gift cards, guys. Gift cards, gift cards at beautyourway.com. I forgot to let you know that that is who I'm representing today. Beautyourway.com, beautyourway.com. You can go there and buy a gift card. And that's a great way to, uh, to get someone started correctly on their beauty makeup agenda. Give them a gift card and I'll, I'll take it from there. Okay, now this, I just want to put it on all over before I put my lip liner on. You don't have to put lip liner on with this, but I want to. I just want a cleaner, cleaner finish. Now, like I said, that's the same pigment that I put on my eyes, okay? Cranberry Mist, I believe that's the name of it. 
And now I'm putting Blackberry Lip Liner. You start on the corner. And don't be afraid to draw, you know, shade this on. Don't, don't be afraid. Don't just draw a little skinny line. Most black and brown people have full lips. Our lips are so beautiful. We can just, you know, shade it in thicker. It's okay. You see how the finish is on this side? I didn't do this side yet, but you see how polished it looked on that side? And if you can see that, I'm gonna kinda bring that down. See that? See that? I did that side already, but I didn't do this. See the difference? And now we're gonna go. I love this pigment, it is so pretty. And this would look beautiful on any skin tone as well. Like we said about the purple, it comes in a beautiful royal purple. It comes in, uh, it comes in a beautiful black. One day we're gonna work with the black. The black has like flicks of uh, silver in it. It is so pretty. Can't wait to show you that one. Okay. And thank you guys for sh joining, joining me. I'm gonna blend, blend a little bit. Where's my water? Excuse me, I have to drink some water. Oh, I drink water all day and all night. I love water. I mean love water. If you, if I went to dinner and someone asked me, what do you want to drink? Out of everything, I would say, give me a bottle of water, please. <laughs> and then the, the waitress always, or the waiter always looks at me like, that's all you want is water? Yes, that's all I want is water. No, nothing, I, I love water. But anyway, now you don't, this, come, this, this dries down matte. So right now, this is a matte lipstick. We turn this pigment, Cranberry Mist, eyeshadow into a matte lipstick by just adding water. We wet our lip brush and we wet our eyeshadow brush. We don't need anything underneath. I didn't put any primer underneath this to make it pop, but I did put primer underneath my brow as a highlighter, okay? So that's very, very beautiful on. It's quick and easy. You guys know I don't like to uh, drag out the video. <laughs> um, I mean, I, 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 you know, I don't wanna, you know, um, just stay too long, but we are basically done with this look. This is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And you can wear this anywhere. I mean, quick and easy, out the door, no problem. So let's just recap really quick what I have on my eyes. Oh, the eyeliner I'm wearing, the black gel eyeliner is waterproof. That's black caviar, black caviar, beautyairway.com. Jet liner, that's in the crease. Jet liner, it's like a black with little pink flicks in it. It's so beautiful. I love these colors. And Cranberry Mist, that's the pigment. It's on my lips as well as on my eyes. The eye and lip primer in the light medium, that's underneath my brow. And I also mixed, mixed it with some face powder because I didn't want it to be so um, evident. It's just enough highlighter, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want it to be over, overwhelming. I don't want to be overwhelming. And of course, my famous, my infamous hot and spicy blush. Hot and spicy blush. And what else did I have? Uh, I think, oh, and my lip liner. 
the lip liner is blackberry it's a gel it's waterproof as well so if I took a if I took a drink out of out of a cup all of all of my lipstick won't be left on my cup my glass it will be on my lips still and that's what so so fabulous about um, beauty our way is it's it stays in place it stays on it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look thick it's just look like it looks like magazine makeup and not because I did it because it's that type of brand that looks like magazine makeup I love the beauty that it it it, it portrays it portrays very you know it's just it's just not cakey and thick or anything like that I'm just gonna freshen up underneath my eyes that's just powder I'm putting underneath my eyes don't want to shine even on the camera now I'm gonna put these glasses on because I need to know who's asking a question okay what color hi Tricia what color is the lipstick and the lip liner I guess I already uh, I guess I just went over that without even looking <laughs> blackberry I think you have blackberry Tricia I think you do but if you don't it is blackberry and cranberry mist pigment that's on my eyes as well as on my lips eyes and lips and it will not stain your eyes sometimes you have colors like this with red uh, the red number five uh, uh, ingredient and it will stain your eyes so be careful with that uh, this does um, this is mineral these are minerals so they won't stain your eyes so you know you'll you'll be fine with that uh, let's see here hey Annie hi hi sweetheart Annie B Annie B that's my lovely niece my beautiful niece uh, let's see here oh I see Miss Shanti my beautiful sister thank you thank you very much you know these colors will look hot on you as well uh, let's see here if anybody have any questions any other questions you can let me know and I will answer them for you beautyourway.com beautyourway.com guys like I say, this is very, 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 very simple. And I, and I can hear you guys say, it's simple to you. It's simple to you. It's difficult to us, for us. Well, if you get a little bit of training and a little bit of practice, it will not be difficult to you. I promise you. And if you're in South Florida, I do give, um, I do have lessons that you can um, make an appointment for a lesson, a one-on-one. And I guarantee you, you won't regret it. You will not regret it. And once you start to do your makeup, you will be, you'll start to be more comfortable doing your makeup. And, you know, I love doing my own makeup because I don't have to go out and, you know, uh, okay, I'm gonna I have an emergency. Oh, I forgot about the wedding. I'm going to a wedding. I need somebody to do my makeup. No, I don't. I can do my own makeup. You know what I mean? All, all you need is a little bit of training, very, very little training, a little bit of practice, and you're you're fine. Because you're all you guys are already beautiful. Please. You're already beautiful. So we're just putting a little bit of some something on you. That's all. You know, that's all. But um, I think we are done for this particular training. And if anyone has any more questions, I will ask that. You, you guys know how to get in touch with me, beautyourway.com. You can um, fill out that form at beautyourway.com and ask any questions. Or you can DM me uh, at beautyourway.com. You can DM me. Let's see. Deneen, hi, how are you? Oh, please share this video, guys. Miss Michelle Spencer Young, how are you, sweetheart? How are you, beautiful? Terrence Reed, oh, that's my beautiful classmate slash cousin. Uh, Miss Frances Hank, thank you for watching. You, Miss, I have all these beautiful people on here today. 
I mean, I mean all of y'all. Now you guys know y'all don't need much of anything. Miss Beverly, no Miss Beverly, no TikTok today, okay? <laughs> it's heady, heady talk. <laughs> it's a heady talk. I'll do TikTok another time, I promise you. It's coming. Just for you, Miss Beverly. I see you, and thank you for joining us. Oh, hold on, hold on, Annie B. Let me put my glasses back on. Y'all know I gotta put my glasses back on to read this stuff. I need some eye colors. Love that color on you. Thank you so much. I have uh, I have some sets also that are uh, that are very beautiful. I'll um, you can go online uh, bdiway.com. The sets are on there, and um, also. Uh, any colors would look good on you, Annie. I mean, any colors. And I, I, I tried to create colors in the brand, in this brand, Beauty Our Way, because I used to work for MAC Cosmetics for over 14 years, and I used to work for Estee Lauder for oof, 12 years, 13, something like that. But I've been in the beauty industry forever, and of course I love it, and it's something that God has gifted me uh, for. And um, I, I put in this brand things that would look good on people of color, women of color. That's what's in this brand. Things that won't turn gray or ashy or anything like that. Things that stay put, things that, that, that are very beautiful on our skin. So, you know, go take a look at um, the eyeshadows, the, uh, the website, beautyairway.com. If you need any help, just let me know. Uh, like I said, this what I'm working with today is Cranberry Mist. I believe that's the name of it. It's a Cranberry Red, Cranberry Mist. And that's going my eyes, my eyes and my lips. And um, we're going to go ahead and close out. And I thank you guys for watching. Please share this video. Please share this video. <laughs> yeah. I got to get that down to dancing part. But all right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. God bless you and stay safe.